If we have three distinct points on a circle, and the line between two of them is the diameter of the circle, the triangle formed by connecting the three points is a right triangle. But why? In this video, you will find out. Welcome back to Math Digest. We draw a circle with center O and mark three distinct points on it. Let's call these three points A, B, and C. We choose A and B so that the line between them is the diameter of the circle. If we connect C to A and B to C, we form a triangle. We can begin with our proof. Let's connect the center O to the point C on the circle. OC is a radius, and so are OA and OB, because the center lies exactly between a diameter, and because a radius is always half the length of a diameter. A triangle with two sides of the same length is called an isosceles triangle. The base angles of an isosceles triangle have the same size. The triangle AOC and the triangle OBC are both isosceles triangles. Therefore, the angle ACO is equal to the angle OAC, and the angle CBO is equal to the angle OCB. Let's name the angles ACO and OAC alpha, and the angles CBO and OCB beta. We know that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, alpha plus alpha plus beta plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. We see that we have alpha twice and beta twice. Therefore, we can rewrite this as 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to 180 degrees. Divide both sides by 2 and we get alpha plus beta is equal to 90 degrees. Due to the fact that the angle at C is alpha plus beta, and we just proved that alpha plus beta is 90 degrees, the angle at C is always going to be equal to 90 degrees. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. If you have any ideas for future topics, please leave them in the comment section below. See you next time at Math Digest.